Ukrainian forces breach Russia's first defensive line, prepare surprise offensives. Ukrainian warriors have broken through Russia's first defensive line near Zaporizhia after weeks of painstaking mine clearance and expect faster gains as they press the weaker second line. The relevant statement was made by General Alexander Tarnavsky, the commander of the Tavria Operational and Strategic Grouping of Troops, in an interview with The Guardian. We are now completing the destruction of enemy units that provide cover for the retreat of Russian troops behind their second defensive line, Tarnavsky told. A vast minefield trapped Ukrainian troops for weeks as infantry sappers slowly cleared an assault route on foot. In the meantime, Russian troops were shelling Ukrainian vehicles with artillery and drones, Tarnavsky noted. In his words, now that barrier has been crossed, Russians have been forced into maneuvers and Ukrainians are back in their tanks and other armored vehicles. In a sign that Moscow is feeling the pressure, it has redeployed troops to the area from other directions, such as Kherson and Lyman, and also from inside Russia. The enemy is pulling up reserves, not only from Ukraine, but also from Russia. But sooner or later, the Russians will run out of all the best soldiers. This will give us an impetus to attack more and faster. Everything is ahead of us, Tarnavsky explained. The Ukrainian commander shrugged off criticism from certain Western politicians regarding the pace of Ukraine's counter-offensive. In his opinion, it is better to judge a job when finished. When we started the counter-offensive, we spent more time than we expected on demining the territories. Unfortunately, the evacuation of the wounded was difficult for us, and this also complicated our advance. Tarnavsky admitted, he believes that Russians did not expect Ukrainian forces to get through that line of defense. They had been preparing for over a year and did everything to make sure that this area was prepared well. According to Tarnavsky, the second line is not as well built, so Ukrainians can use their vehicles, although there are also minefields. Because Russian forces are also operating in this area, they are in patches rather than a single defensive cordon. When asked about slow progress breaking through Russian lines in another offensive further east along the enemy's defensive line, Tarnavsky said it had other aims and added that Ukraine was preparing other surprise offensives to drain Moscow's forces. To be successful in one direction, you always need to mislead the enemy, Tarnavsky noted.